Trip.com Group gives each employee a sizable reward of over $6,000 or 50,000 yuan for every child they have. The Chinese company, a leading travel service provider in the country, announced the generous incentive on June 30th, dedicating an estimated $137 million to the scheme. It said it would offer a yearly cash bonus of $1,380 for five years to its employees worldwide who welcome a baby into their lives. In a statement reported by Reuters, Executive Chairman James Liang said, I have always suggested that the government give money to families with children, especially multiple children, to help more young people fulfill their desire to have multiple children. He continued, Companies can also play a role within their own capabilities to build a favorable fertility atmosphere. The company stated that only employees who had worked for the company for at least three years would qualify for the subsidies. According to the Financial Times, state media enthusiastically praised the move and encouraged other companies to follow its lead. The announcement came as the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, became more anxious about the fast-shrinking population and the community's nonchalance about marriages and childbearing. It was not until 2016 that the country switched from its one-child policy to two-child, and then a rush to three-child encouragement in 2021. This January, Sichuan province took the lead and scrapped the cap on the number of children entirely, allowing parents to have as many offspring as they wish. In the same month, Beijing acknowledged that its population had dropped for the first time in six decades. In 2022, China had only 6.77 births for every 1,000 people, its lowest birth rate ever recorded, and a decline from 7.52 births the year before. James Liang, who is also a demographer, warned in January that the drop in China's birth rate and aging are worse than in Japan and even increasing.